These days, he's a chef, an author, historian with a clutch of restaurants under his belt. And today's topic is the profound impact of culinary ratings and celebrity chef culture, integrity in modern gastronomy. So this is going to be a fireside discussion, delving into the influence wielded by restaurant ratings and the rise of the celebrity chef. David. Is it? <laughs> I've... I've never felt so old as when talking to Liza. Um, Lisa. <laughs> to Lisa. Liza, Lisa. Um, I can't even pronounce your name correctly. Uh, I've never felt so old because it made me realise I was coming from quite a different generation. When, when I first started my scramblings around my, my accidents in, in working with food, there was no internet. There was no social media. There's no true interference, and so very, very much, I, I was left on my own to establish my own style. Unfortunately, that's not the case now, uh, I, and I lament and I worry about how kids, when they're first starting to develop their own culinary style, are often, often rely upon the internet and often rely upon the opinions of others to verify, to aid perhaps at first, but also to verify um, uh, the validity uh, of their cooking process, of their cooking style. And as they begin to develop, the observations, uh, um, perhaps even criticisms, that are, uh, that are bound in the internet when they first begin to do so publicly. I worry about that because if you are cooking, and if it is some type of intimate expression of yourself, you can often be dissuaded from what you wish to do or what you would do naturally, what you would do without interference to develop your own style independently with some degree of integrity, without interference. And that concerns me because it creates an unstable foundation, I think, to your own culinary expression. Now, that doesn't happen with everyone. It's me just speculating on that. But I suspect I understand a bit about cooks, unfortunately. Do you think and it's been accelerated in recent years? As fast as the social media and trolling has become more yeah. successful, yes, indeed. I think so. It's almost inevitable. Uh, I, I think how often do people spend their time on social media? And that will tell you how much time uh, and how persuasive that, that particular area is upon one's life. Yeah, yeah. And as a, as a cook, um, uh, uh, you often avail yourself of the social media. And so it becomes so, a habit in which you, 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 you seek information, but sadly you may not find solace amongst the criticism. Yeah. So, so at what stage do you think it started to spiral out of control and how did it spiral? I... I only have only become aware of the perniciousness of it uh, as I begin to think about things. Uh, I, I think it never occurred to me because I was never subject to it. I've always ignored people's opinions. I'm afraid I'm, I'm uh, uh, one of those, those ego-driven cooks in the sense of I've always tried to do my best by doing my best and hoping that the guest would like the best that I tried to do. Um, uh, that's my that's my obligation to 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 the customer, um, and so I've been rather impervious to those things, but that's simply because I grew up when it wasn't there. Sure. Okay. So, but you you were. I still so don't read criticisms. <laughs> in 2014, Nam um, was uh, listed as the best restaurant in Asia. Your former uh, restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in 2016, you received the Lifetime Achievers Award. How did these start, or did this, this, this? Um, oh, you see, I've always ignored listing. awards. I think I, 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 I've always ignored them. I, I've taken a Stoics point of view, mm -hmm. where th that whether things are good or things are bad, you should be rather impervious to them, mm -hmm. um, because things are oft can often be good and they can certainly be bad, um, and so you need to renew yourself of of the vicissitudes of life and a career. Sure, but do these do these awards or do these do the stars and do the listings? Do they have a way of validating? 
Oh, you'd be inhuman not to think that not to be persuaded by them, to be, be flattered by them, and to be titillated by the the spank, sprinkling the, the 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 spangled stars, as it were. Um, but if cooking, as opposed to restauranteuring, if cooking is that art, that craft of expression, I'm not sure whether they call it an art. It's a craft at the very best. I think, at its very best. Um, is an intimate expression of one's sense of, of, of creation, then you judge it accordingly. You judge it by yourself. You judge it by that wonderful sense of accomplishment that you know that you, you, you have when you achieve something and it's done well. Uh, most cooks are their own harshest judges, often harder judges than the troll, even the worst mm. of the trolls. Mm. But that internal judgment is something that's natural and, and you can deal with because you, you, you understand the complete act of creation, as it were, and its consequences and the errors and how to refix them. Mm. When it comes from the outside, it can often dissuade one. It can often distort uh, an understanding. It can often prevent. It can often shift how you would normally do things. And, and, and therein lies the danger because then you lose your voice. That, that, imp that imperative, that the crucial thing where that act of creation needs the act of the individual. You remove the individual, then you, 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 you compromise the foundation and you lose that very act, that very humane, human act of expression. Yeah. Um, and that, that precursors then the next stage, which is the, the, the germ of this conversation, where awards which are meant to rank and meant to be a good thing and a beneficial thing, and they are certainly beneficial for business. So let me just separate the two. Uh, it's very understandable that, that one would seek stars and, 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 and the accolades, but it doesn't necessarily make you a better cook. No. It can often make you a worse cook because yeah. then you start to become persuaded by what those award systems wish. And what other people uh, think. Or you may start to hanker for the addiction that, that, and the gratification that the stars and, and accolades can bring. Yes. And that, again, is uh, human fo a, a foible, and we're all subject to it. And I think you cannot help but be fall into that, that hypnotic sway and glisten. Um, in, but there is a fly in that ointment, I've got to say. Um, and, and it is, then you start to lose yourself in that. And again, if you wish to do something that has creative meaning and integrity, Losing yourself loses the very essence, the very agency that allows you to express with some degree of ver veracity. Exactly, yeah. And so I, that, that's, that's where I worry a bit. Yeah. Uh, and it's not necessarily the fault of the awards. It, it is without, in a human nature to have that kind of linear approach to this one's first, this yeah. one's second, this one's yeah. third. Life's a bit more complicated than that. Yeah. And if I know bloody cooks, and I'm afraid I do, they're more messier than just uh, something that's going to line up in an easy order. Uh, the other Competitive. thing to be serious for uh, a second, the creative uh, impulse and uh, the, uh, the, the idea of ranking creativity as one better than the other is to me obscene because each person's creativity is unto, unto itself its own value. Sure, yeah. Yeah. So then the psychological implications... We start to externalise ourselves because, if, firstly, if, if, if you start to have other people vindicating and you seek that vindication outside yourself as the creative expression, and then as a restaurateur or as a, as a practising cook, yeah. you then have the award system which further verifies that by the, the, the accolades that might be bestowed, yeah. you start to lose that internal value or it can be persuaded or it can be dulled somewhat. And the thing is that I find that very risky. It's very easy to happen, and it happens to everybody on occasion mm. for periods of time. If it didn't, you wouldn't be human. Yeah, yeah. But to lose it completely, to lose it as the essence of, of, of what you are as a cook, as a creative, as a creative exercise, becomes fraught with, with, with problems, yeah. I think, and compromise. Uh, that, that's, that's my concern. So one question, like, so the, the, the cult of the celebrity chef, is it more... Prevalent in men than women, do you think? Ask Donald Trump. He's an excellent cook. Um, he, he cooks How books. Is he? He, cooks books. <laughs> he cooks the books. So I believe he's in court just just to get that. Um, 
Yes, possibly it is, but uh, uh, yes, it is, because men are far more competitive. No, that's wrong to say men are far more competitive, but certainly it seems to be a boys' game. Yeah. Now, it could be a boys' game because historically there were more men in the kitchen, and so therefore uh, it's simply by a matter of historical evolution that more men are involved in, it, in, in that game that's played with called competition. Women are far more sensible, perhaps. But here's the thing. If you're running a business, and if your idea of running a business is to make it as successful as possible, not just only in the cooking, but in all the appointments that surround it, all the sundry elements that surround it, and you see that, that uh, uh, accolades are going to make you more busier, then as a business person, as opposed to vis a vis a, a cook, necessarily, then you pursue that because simply if your, your aim is to make it as successful as possible, you pursue every avenue. Um, and that's an easy seduction. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I think we're all seduced by it. But I grew up when, well, pre-internet, but also when cricket was played <laughs> uh, uh, properly. Uh, and uh, and uh, I still follow those rules somewhat, yeah. rather anachronistically, I suppose. Yeah. And that's why talking to you now makes me feel terribly old. <laughs> Great. Okay. Let Nana nod off. That's you, by the way. <laughs> okay. It uh, looks like we've got a couple of questions from the audience. Uh, Jade, come here. Okay. I'm going to. So, how much more balance makes this with not going to do? You tell me, because I'm still working it out. Um, so, how, I, I, yeah, okay, uh, you can so, uh, so, how must one balance that need for expression and identity and the potential success of business derived from playing the game? Mm, it's a tightrope. I said cricket before, but really what I meant was being a tightrope walker, uh, an acrobat, I think, um, a circus acrobat performing in, in the centre ring, I suppose. Uh, how do you do it? You judge it yourself. I think you have your own moral, moral understanding and your own moral values. I, I wasn't quite sure. I didn't quite agree with the, the power and the morality of cooks as, as practitioners. I understand what, in the previous talks, I understood what was meant by choosing the ingredients and therefore passing on the sustainability to guests wise away what's being done. But as instruments of moral compass, as, as moral exemplars, I know very few cooks that could be said to be that. <laughs> None, in fact. In fact, if you, if you, if you, if, do you? <laughs> A couple. Who? Darren. Uh, Darren, would you like to come I up here? <laughs> um, no, I, 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 you know, I, I think we we'll all have our own foibles and our own faults and so on. And so therefore, to say that one is a moral ex exemplar is, is, is absurd. And quite arrogant, and, and certainly as deluded as being susceptible as being seduced by an award system. Uh, how do you balance it? I don't know. You just balance it within yourself and try the best to be as as good as you can, I suppose. Whatever t by, by whatever term by whatever means and terms that you apply. I, I can't judge you. I can only judge myself. Okay. Um. Isn't the counterpoint that customers like ratings, awards, statistics, yes, celebrity chefs and Absolutely. social media? Absolutely, and that's, that's a difficult thing because that's why I made the distinction between restaurateur and cook uh, or, or, or as the, the act of cooking itself um, because there is a distinction. One runs a business and the other one runs uh, uh, the, the, the actual cooking process. It's a, it's a good cook that can marry the two. It's a great cook that can marry the two and make it successful. And it's an outstanding cook that can uh, marry the two, make it successful and still maintain some principles and maintain their own standards. I'm yet to meet one. Next question. Okay. Um, what goals do you use then to motivate the younger chefs you lead, some of whom probably oh, what goals? joined you? I tell you what, I did. Another thing I disagreed with was um, the idea of, of punishment for fun. Uh, that's. I, I think there's no better game to play in the kitchen than that. A, a little, bit, little cheery bit of abuse. Um, <laughs> cheery spurs, bit of yes, abuse. It spurs everyone on. Uh, no. Um, what goals do you what use goals? then to motivate no, the younger you chefs you uh, lead yeah, you to achieve excellence? If you go into the industry because you want to be a cook, then all you can do is help that person unleash that potential within themselves. I've come to the conclusion you really can't train a cook. 
not because necessarily they're wild animals uh, and unable to be educated in any way, mostly, <laughs> but because really if you do have that capacity within yourself, you unleash it yourself and that you, you, you learn there's nothing more powerful, no, uh, something that will incorrect, incorrect, in, in, Incorrect? Yes, incorrect. No, that's that's chaotic, isn't it? Uh, that will inculcate. I beg your pardon. That will inculcate successfully something that you know yourself and that you learn yourself and that you bring out yourself. And while somebody can show you, true understanding comes when you practice it yourself and you begin to understand it yourself. Uh, and 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 so you can draw it out. You can help, and you can suggest, and you can guide, and you can advise, and you do whatever. But that's all you can do because it's up to the practitioner, the young person who's learning, to learn themselves or to appreciate it themselves. You can help, you can guide. A bit of a slap behind the idea uh, helps. Uh, uh, but, but nothing more than that. You can only, only help to coax. And that's it. Because if, 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 you, if you force somebody to learn, or if they just agree well, they to resent something. It. Well, or if it, or if they just say that they've learned it and they copy it. Yeah. That's not true understanding. Yeah. That's just merely uh, uh, an Im uh, uh, an imitation. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't have the depth. Yeah. Or the integrity of somebody who does understand. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 and I find the other thing that 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 is important. One of the most important things, actually, when I think about it, is making mistakes. Sure. Um, fucking things up. Yeah. <laughs> which I've done very often, I must tell you, um, including this conversation today, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> um, uh, is where you learn the most. Because if you, if you follow a recipe and, and, and you happen across success, then you blindly ignore the dynamics that, that underlie it, the mechanics of it. Whereas if you make an error, you try to investigate and it allows you to see underneath that hood yes. of, of, of technique. It yes. allows you to get down into the method and, and into how it all operates. Yes. It can be a rabbit hole, but it can also be a liberation too. Yeah, 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 of course. But we're, we're moving away from our topic. Oh, okay, okay. Next one. Uh, will customers inevitably lose faith in a system that doesn't necessarily reward quality and hospitality, but rather branding and popularity? I would say that systems adapt and award systems adapt to the, the market's uh, requirements. And that's why it's a bit specious in that there are a lot of good cooks, very good cooks. Success in this career has many elements, disparate elements. One is the skill, the talent, the application, the persistence, the opportunity. But the other, other final essence, that final Philip, is luck. Uh, and some people are called more luck than others. Whether that be right or wrong, it's, it, it, it happens to be that final element that can uh, propel one into a, a, a position of prominence or not. There are a lot of cooks around. Uh, and, and in various positions, and I, I, and I don't mean in fine restaurants, I, I, you can find them at home, you can find them in, 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 in noodle stores, you can find them in the most unlikely places, you can even find them in my restaurant on occasion when I'm not there. Uh, uh, um, and yet some of them may not be recognised. Sure. So, and so, the, so, so I, I find that the idea of the award system yeah. can often overlook those worthy recipients of course. Uh, and, 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 and happen upon those who have that good fortune, that good luck, that shining star to get a star. Yes. So, I mean, will the pendulum swing hard the other way? Will people give up on it? No, I don't think so because uh, as people become more it's and more... It's hype. Yes. Yeah, uh, and, and they love uh, the hype. Hype's addictive. Yeah. And it's addictive to the, both the people involved in the, in the, in the yes. competition, as it were, but also we those who are observing real. it. Yes. It's, you know, it's, let's, let's face it, it's just we're all in the Colosseum. Yes, okay. Uh, and, and wow. And well, we are going to talk about that later. Are we? Do we have, <laughs> and we're all culinary gladiators or something <laughs> culinary like that. Culinary gladiators. God help us. That's why I'm singing to the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, um, with internet and social media, would the platforms instead serve as a source of basic inspiration for chefs 
to a more varied exposure, becoming a breeding ground to developing their own As styles. long as you remove the comments from the social media, possibly. Um, the, the problem is in the comments and people's criticism, it can often dissuade and can distract and can destroy that creative impetus. And it's not necessarily that some of those people responding are trolls. Sure. But the problem is the written word has a weight beyond. And if it's taken out of context, and if, if me talking to me and saying, you're an old grandmother, yeah. what are you talking <laughs> about? And, and you can hear my tone. You can hear that, that I'm just a grumpy old grandfather just complaining about you. Whereas if you're reading that online, you could take it from a very can't different... read. No, yeah. you, you can't get the context. And yes. so consequently, if you're young, naive and earnest... You take it at face value. Oh, you're taking the worst way possible. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and it, it hits you. It yeah. strikes you. It stings. Yeah. Uh, any criticism stings, no matter how nude you might be. Uh, and and uh, it, it takes a while for you to be able to brush that off and not to dissuade you from what you do. And when you're taking those first nascent, stumbling steps... And you're trying to find information and then you express it and then that information comes back and hits you across the head. Uh, that can be awful. Yeah. I've never had that when I was uh, in, in a kitchen. Possibly I should have. <laughs> but but, <laughs> um, but, but I, uh, I think it can be terribly detrimental. Yeah. Terribly detrimental. Yeah. Not the access to information. That's the, that's, that's, the, that's the green salad that is so wonderful about the internet. Yeah. The worm, though, are the trolls that wriggle around in the comments. Sure. Sure. In that salad. Yeah. Or, sorry, the fly in the ointment. Okay. Got another one. Um, do you think customers of today truly know the meaning of food quality? Or do you think consumers just like it for social media purposes, bragging rights? Far That's a bit for me to say anything like that. But they sure fucking seem to know it. <laughs> they sure think so. Um, uh... Do they? Yes, I'm sure some do. Uh, but perhaps the loudest voices aren't as certain of themselves as the ones that are a little bit more subtle. Yeah. Like anybody, the, 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 the emptiest um, uh, Hulk, Hulk has the loudest din. Um, so consequently, I think, uh, yeah, some do, some don't. But as for the creative action, nobody can know that but the individual who is actually going through that. Sure. And so to lay criticism on the cook, on the quality of cooking, as, advisor, as opposed to the ingredients employed, can be terribly hard yeah. and can be terribly unjust. Yeah. It might be correct too. I hasten to say I, I've come across some food that, oh, if only I were literate, if only I could read, if only I could write, I'd write a comment. Yeah. But luckily yeah. I'm Australian. <laughs> and I, I so you're neither, totally illiterate. And, absolutely yeah. and blithely illiterate. <laughs> Cool. I live in innocence, like the Garden of Eden, with that salad and that worm. <laughs> I'm going to take one more question um, and recognise your work. Oh, so how did you feel amidst those moments when you were recognised for your work, when you received Michelin stars, when you received Best Restaurant in Asia? Mm. What were those emotions? Embarrassment. Embarrassment? Yeah, absolute embarrassment. I, you know, I... I, I, I always felt I went to cooking not to be recognised, I went to cooking for the love of it. Yeah. And of course, you know, I, 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 I was uncomfortable about being recognised and I could kick myself because I should have enjoyed those moments. Yeah. But I was raised in a time where it was wrong, it was considered rather bad form to, to focus upon yourself and to Tall boast. And, yes. syndrome. And, and so I always felt rather uncomfortable. I, yeah. I think you saw me squirm on many yeah, occasions yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, in the light, in, in, uh, like most cooks I do squirm yeah. in the light, sunlight in the, in the main. Um, but I felt uncomfortable about it. Yeah. Uh, simply because it was not what I was aiming for. Sure, sure. Uh, it was good for business, yep. yeah. It was good. It, 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 it introduced me to various people and so on. But uh, I still think the calibre of a cook and their cooking is more important than the awards that they get. And again, as I get older, the more I realise there are a lot more cooks around who cook just as well. Yeah. Who yeah. are unrecognised. And there are also. Uh, a lot of cooks who are recognised, yes. who are better at manipulation of algorithms uh, yeah, than they are. there's quite a few of them, yeah. Yes. So uh, just for context, um, tall poppy syndrome is a, I don't know if it actually, well, it exists. If they don't know, 
Is so it's an Australian term. It means that if anybody rises above anybody else, then it's a Locked off. social duty to loft them off. Well, yeah. but also it's it's uh, just a sense of you don't draw attention to yourself yeah. as well, right? which yeah. I still have. And in some ways I'm very glad I have it. There's a certain degree of reticence and, and reserve in that. Um, but without which uh, you can just become arrogant. Yes, uh, and, sure. And, I think and seek the attention. And, and seeking that attention and is as bad as an addiction people. almost in any other way. It, yeah. can, it, can, it can lead you astray. Yeah, yeah. It can yeah. lead you awry. Yeah. It can distort what you might have intended to do. Yeah, yeah. Once. Okay. I've got one more question. Now this harks back to oh, a here we go. <laughs> a Come very on, long up. night that we had probably 12 13 years ago. Oh yes, we were talking about tall poppies, weren't we? <laughs> okay. Um so Livy was a Roman historian who mapped oh, the fall yeah. of the Augustine period. No, the rise of the Augustine. The rise of okay. yeah, the that was at the end of the, the end the of the end republic. Of, okay. And Augustus was the first emperor. I should have made him write this, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, against the rise of food indulgence and the increased status of chefs. Um, culinary access has been mapped at the fall or end of multiple empires, including the Ottoman, Spanish, Song and Tang. Didn't happen to the British Empire because there's no bloody good <laughs> cooking. Well, it's the British, but there we go. How does this make you feel and how do you think, how does it, is it a precursor for well, where we are today? If I'm trying to be witty, and you're, I'm very glad I can't be, <laughs> um, I'd say look around now and you do you not see the seeds of demise in, in our society as you look around in, in the way that politics are, are changing, the, the decline of political liberal democracy, the, Lack of uh, the unfettered capitalism that seems to be wreaking havoc yeah. amongst people yeah. and the environment. Uh, and you look at the wars that are, that are beginning um, uh, after the demise of the Cold War and then the unipolity uh, polity system of, uh, under the US. And God damn it, Livy, the elder, uh, might well be true. There was Livy, the younger as well. Look that up. <laughs> yeah. So it could well be true. Who knows? I mean, we it, it, there might be, because there are no other institutions left, the last stone you turn over is the one where cooks hide under. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and there again is that worm in the salad. <laughs> exactly. Uh, who, who knows? Uh, it, is, it is perplexing to me yeah. to think that cooks can gain celebrity uh, because of their craft. No, let me, let me rephrase that. Because I think any uh, uh, successful and admirable example expression of creativity should be admired for its own sake but does it give you the right to be popular or famous or anything like that does, I, i'm not sure about that i uh, think you should should you be famous for being good at what you do well i suppose that's better than being famous for being famous yeah look i, I don't think the being famous bit is is you know like the main problem it's the seeking fame yes i mean uh, that's yeah i I, I do have a problem with that, uh, only because I don't want a charlatan to be named a charlatan or somebody who's a fame seeker or a gold digger or anybody else that is exploitative that wants to seek something for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, apart from trying to do the best that you can. Trying to do the best that you can, um, yeah. But then ambition can, can, is, is a mixed kettle of fish, isn't it? It is. A squirmy little thing <laughs> where, you know, it, it, it well, might It's a drug. It can be a drug, but also, you know, you, 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 as you start to find that ambition, uh, it can it can express itself in in interesting ways. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, are we ended? Uh, are we headed towards the end of our civilization? Yes. Should we make have lunch over that? Yes. Okay. Uh, should we make it a good lunch? Oh, I think we should, <laughs> uh, just in case there's no more dinners. Um, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I do worry about what is going to happen politically, uh, just to change the subject quite a bit, because simply there are so many things going awry. Yeah. So many things. Yeah. Um, because of the uh, 
the latitude within Liberal governments to actually uh, maintain their political responsibilities to their constituents. Yeah. And also, to some extent, the apathy of the constituents in keeping their... I'd their, say their the apathy of the constituents in many cases, as we saw recently in Australia. Uh, empathy. Well, empathy or apathy? Oh, empathy. Sorry. Make of empathy. I'll go there, and so, but I, what I would say, you look at the US, my favourite topic, uh, and you see the, the lack of political involvement. And so you do get the government you deserve. Yeah, 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 it's true. Uh, and there are some governments that are better than others. Uh, and you look at the US and perhaps you can see the expectation that everybody places upon it and then you see what it delivers and yeah. you can see what a sham it is. And, and so if you begin to, disc to, to, to undermine those type of political institutions, whether it's necessary or not and rightly done or not, what's going to replace it? Yes, exactly. And so that's why I think there will be a radical change. Yeah. What, yeah. what it will turn to, I don't know. I, I just hope it won't be something like Mr Trump. Because <laughs> I don't want a well done steak for lunch. No, no, exactly. Okay, I think that we're getting off topic, but um, I think we're getting on topic. <laughs> I think it's actually all we have time for today. Oh, we're you, well over what do, time. What do you want, Nano? You want your nap in the afternoon? <laughs> what time is it? It's time for nap. Oh time. yes, it's time for a drink, everyone. Grandmothers are lush. See you out there. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for coming today. Um, thank you for all our speakers. Um, thank you for all the sponsors who helped put Kita Conversations on. Um, and thank you all for coming. And thanks for the team, for everything, all your hard work. All right. <laughs> we have... Drinks in the lobby. Um, there's non-alcoholic by non, and those who are Lisa's, not. And Lisa is available for any question that you have in regard <laughs> to any of the topics that were mentioned today. Um, and Send we you have email address. cocktails from the Suntory and beers from Tiger and water from San Pellegrino. So please go and enjoy. Thank you so much. <laughs>